Tip number six, always create specific schematic symbol for every component type. For example, do not create one resistor schematic symbol for all your resistors. And I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain what I mean and I'm going to explain why it is important. When uh, I was starting with hardware design, I used to create new components this way. I'm going to show you, especially the resistors and capacitors. I had one uh, schematic symbol and if I needed a new component, let's say I need a 1K resistor, I simply just copied this, control C, I pasted it here and I changed the value 1K. Ta-da! I have 1K resistor. The thing is, this is not really the best way to do it. Do you know why? What do you think? Why this is not the... This is not the way how you should be doing your professional schematics. Because it's going to take you a lot of time. What's wrong with this? If you generate BOM from schematic, which was created this way, copy and paste, the BOM bill of material, you know, the components which you need to order to build this board, it will look like this. You will get a list of values. Maybe you will get also a list of footprints, but that's it. And then you have to manually add more information into the BOM. You have to manually go through these components, 200 microfarad capacitor. You need to go to schematic. You need to check if this is a 16 volt uh, capacitor or if it's 25 volt capacitor. You need to go to, I don't know, supplier website and maybe find the particular component which is going to be used in your schematic. And then manually you have to go here and write here the manufacturer part number, the manufacturer and ideally also the supplier and supplier part number for every component here. It's going to take a long time. The thing is, it's fine for one project, you can do it, it's not a problem. For hobby project, you can do it, it's not a problem. If you design a couple of different boards every year, then it's going to be a problem. And uh, that's not all. Some people, even I, when I was starting with hardware design, I was lazy. Yeah? I, I sent something like this to people who, uh, who were doing the purchasing because I was not ordering the components by myself. I just sent this list. And then what was happening? What do you think? They keep asking questions, a lot of questions. They go to DigiKey, they search for 220 microfarad capacitor in 1206 footprint. They got thousands of results and they have no idea which one is the correct one. So they ask me, please, which of these capacitors is the correct one? Can I use this one? Is this replacement fine? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. After one year, you would be doing nothing else, just answering these kind of emails. It's going to take you a lot of time. There is a better way to do it, okay? In many, uh, I don't know if in all systems which you can use to design schematics and PCBs, but in the professional systems, you can usually put parameters to each symbol. So for example, if I go here to my library and if you have a look, I have a number of uh, resistors here. They all have same schematic symbol C, but they have different parameters. If I double click on one of the symbols, this one for example, you can see here are the parameters and the parameters there, they say like uh, this is a 20 ohm uh, resistor, but it also tell you where you can buy it in DigiKey. And this is the DigiKey, uh, DigiKey uh, supplier part number or number, yeah, which you can use to buy it from DigiKey. Here you can find the exact manufacturer and the manufacturer part number. If I go and if I click on the other resistor, this one, you can see this is the 100K resistor and this is the 
a digikey part number for the 100k resistor. This is the part number for this 100k resistor. And you can use these parameters, you can use this information in the bomb. And then when you generate the bomb from this information, from the schematic value, use different symbol for each value of your resistor. Then you get something like this. Just press one button, you generate this bomb with all the information which is needed to buy the components. You don't need to fill out nothing manually. You just press the button and all is generated automatically. You take this, send it to the poor searching department and they just go to DigiKey and buy these components. Okay? No questions, no emails. It's awesome. Imagine I, I would generate here this bomb is like, I don't know how many components. 140 components. Imagine that here would be like only 47k, 0 ohm, 1k, or 1.5k, 49, and I would need to manually go through these 140 components and put here the manufacturer part number. I would need to manually go here and put here the uh, digikey uh, part number. Can you imagine how long it would take me? Ages. It's it's going to save you a lot of time, especially in the future. Once you create these components, you can just use them in your, all your projects. You never uh, again need to fill out this information. And uh, oh, I almost forgot to tell you. For example, I'm not sure about the other uh, softwares, but for example, in Altium Designer, you actually don't have to write these uh, these uh, parameters manually. If I go to the library here and I'll show you. In the DigiKey there is a feature for it. You go down here, system, supplier search and for example if you need uh, a resistor you just search for resistor, it finds it, press right click and you can import all the parameters automatically. You don't have to write them manually from different suppliers. If I go here they support different suppliers, yeah, RO, Alnet. I only have DigiKey enabled, but you can use Farnell. And you just search for the component, you find it here, right click, import. And all these parameters which you can see here, they will be automatically imported from the supplier website and created in your schematic symbol. So you don't have to write it. It's awesome. Yeah. Create, definitely create the symbols for every resistor type. It's going to save you a lot of time. So don't forget, tip number six, always create specific schematic symbol for every component type. Why? If you use a generic resistor schematic symbol, then always when you generate a bomb, you will have to manually edit it.